Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know, like subscribe, and share to help support our channel. If you have not already done so, pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one pre- and post rv planning tool for the Dinar and cryptocurrency communities. Also, pick up your free blockchain-based secure Brave browser, and get paid to surf the internet today. There are many different ways to make money in crypto, the Brave browser is one of the easiest. Both the links are in the description box below this video. First article of interest for today. The United States gives Iraq $15 million to confront Corona. The United States of America announced, on Tuesday, the allocation of more than $15.5 million to Iraq to counter the coronavirus. The U.S. Embassy in Baghdad said, through a statement seen by Alec Desaz News, that the U.S. government announced the allocation of more than $15.5 million to Iraq in the field of health and humanitarian aid, which in turn will help in setting up laboratories and implementing public health emergency plans at border and interior entry points, activating the preventive mechanism, and monitoring developments for influenza-like illnesses. He added, this aid depends on long-term investment in the health sector in Iraq which is approximately $4 billion in health alone. Next article of interest. Deputy Al-Zarfi will submit a request to Parliament to hold a session of granting confidence next week. Member of Parliament Assad al-Murshidi confirmed on Tuesday that Prime Minister-designate Adnan Al-Zarfi will submit a formal request to the House of Representatives next week to hold a session to give his government confidence. Al-Murshidi said in a statement to information that the House of Representatives is unable to apologize for holding a session to give the Zarfi government confidence because of the outbreak of the corona epidemic, as this contradicts the constitutional timing, noting that the parliament's apology may lead to major constitutional problems not it can be solved. He added that Al-Zarfi is in the process of completing his cabinet and political consultations procedures to pass his government, noting that Al-Zarfi will submit an official request to the House of Representatives next week to set the date for the session to grant confidence to his government. And a number of political figures suggested, earlier, that Parliament apologize for holding a session to grant the government of Prime Minister-designate Adnan al-Zarfi in light of the corona pandemic and the application of the curfew. Next article of interest. Federal Reserve announces establishment of a temporary FEMA repo facility to help support the smooth functioning of financial markets. The Federal Reserve on Tuesday announced the establishment of a temporary repurchase agreement facility for foreign and international monetary authorities, FEMA Repo Facility, to help support the smooth functioning of financial markets, including the U.S. Treasury market, and thus maintain the supply of credit to U.S. households and businesses. The FEMA Repo Facility will allow FEMA account holders which consist of central banks and other international monetary authorities with accounts at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, to enter into repurchase agreements with the Federal Reserve. In these transactions, FEMA account holders temporarily exchange their U.S. Treasury securities held with the Federal Reserve for U.S. dollars, which can then be made available to institutions in their jurisdictions. This facility should help support the smooth functioning of the U.S. Treasury market by providing an alternative temporary source of U.S. dollars other than sales of securities in the open market. It should also serve, along with the U.S. dollar liquidity swap lines the Federal Reserve has established with other central banks, to help ease strains in global U.S. dollar funding markets. The Federal Reserve provides U.S. dollar-denominated banking services to FEMA account holders in support of Federal Reserve objectives and in recognition of the U.S. dollar's predominant role as an international currency. The FEMA Repo Facility, which adds to the range of services the Federal Reserve provides, will be available beginning April 6 and will continue for at least six months. Next article of interest. G20 pivots as emergency aid focus turns to developing world. Economy chiefs from the Group of 20 Nations, 
which accounts for about 90% of global economic output, are switching focus to the need to assist developing nations trying to cope with the impact of the coronavirus pandemic. At a virtual meeting on Tuesday, G20 finance ministers and central bankers said they'd look to address debt vulnerabilities in developing nations to allow them to focus their efforts on fighting the outbreak, according to a statement. They also committed to working with other organizations to swiftly deliver the appropriate international financial assistance to lower-income countries. As the epidemic appears to crest in Europe and with stimulus efforts booking up across advanced economies, the success of the global effort to halt the pandemic might come down to the defenses of developing nations. More than 800,000 have been confirmed infected and 39,000 killed as of Tuesday, according to the World Health Organization. The outbreak spread from the Chinese city of Wuhan to more than 180 countries and territories since late January, affecting every continent except Antarctica. IMF support before the G20 call, France said it would propose that the International Monetary Fund increase its special drawing rights by $500 billion as part of an aggressive push to assist developing nations. That would offer quick support to countries expected to face severe difficulties, particularly in Africa, French Finance Minister Bruno Le Maire said on a telephone conference with journalists. He also said he'd propose a new rapid credit line to supplement swaps between central banks, and a doubling of emergency automatic drawing rights for developing countries. We need now to prepare a response to the economic crisis that could be extremely violent in developing countries, Le Maire said. We want massive and immediate aid. A debt moratorium could be a first step to help some countries, Le Maire said. The major concern is to avoid the weakest states of the world being the primary victims of the coronavirus crisis, he said. On a call Thursday with G20 leaders, IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva had said the world's biggest economies should provide more support to keep the international monetary system from seizing up due to the pandemic. It sought backing to create a sizable quantity of reserve assets, or SDRs, as it did in the 2009 global financial crisis. The move, which would require backing from the IMF's membership, would immediately boost the liquidity of all IMF members once approved. The fund also asked for support to expand the use of swap-like instruments. Debt worries. On Friday, J.P. Morgan Chase & Co said that the IMF's pandemic aid process should also ease some loan rules for developing nations to avoid saddling them with unsustainable debt. Many of the 81 countries seeking IMF assistance will likely confront challenging financial markets and large fiscal deficits that may put them in a precarious debt position, J.P. Morgan analyst led by Norris Zintavani wrote. The IMF would have difficulty lending more than a fraction of its $1 trillion capacity without diluting its normal lending standards, they said. In its statement following Tuesday's call, the G20 said it welcomed the World Bank's readiness to deploy as much as $160 billion over the next 15 months to support its member countries to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. The G20, along with the World Bank, IMF and other international institutions, are discussing ways to support financial stability and alleviate liquidity constraints in developing economies, it said. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest videos are posted. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog for all of today's articles of interest and find me on Facebook and Twitter as I also post more on those platforms as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Exchange Planner Companion before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program, if you do not keep your savings in an real asset like gold. You risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. 
This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today. It's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. All of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video. Go check them out. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now. The Denarian.